Um, for some reason, over the 40 years, I've sort of got into the habit of telling the occasional story to do, do about Christmas. And this is one about a primary school class. The teacher was asking the kids if they could remember the name of all the reindeer that ruled with, worked with Rudolph. Okay, there were a dozen of them. And they managed to remember Dasher and Dancer and Prancer, Vixen and Comet and Cupid and Donna and Blitzen. But that's only eight. But of course, you add Rudolph in, that's nine. And one little fellow said, you forgot Olive and Howard and Andy. <laughs> you know, Olive the other little reindeers used to laugh and call him that. Olive the other oh, little reindeers. Okay. And how about Howard? And what was that? then how the reindeer loved him. And then Andy shouted out with glee. So, so it's all there in the song, he said. So you should, anyway, we're going to do, um, we're going to sing Rudolph. Um, but I, I have to tell you a story about that. Um, I... Saying earlier, my wife used to like watching Jeopardy, uh, and I haven't watched it for a while now. But I happened to tune in by accident last week, and there was a lady on there who seemed to be miraculous. She won forty-five thousand dollars on her first appearance. Okay. Anyway, what struck my attention is one of the questions that was asked. I think she, which she got right, was. What is the song an advertising manager at Montgomery Ward's store in Chicago wrote to hand out to children visiting the store at Christmas time? Okay. And the answer to that was Rudolph. The guy wrote this as a, as a verse to hand out to the kids. And then his brother-in-law decided to set it to music. And it was a great little song. So they tried to flog it to various music publishers and no one would buy it. So the advertising manager said, okay, I'll start my own music publishing business, which he did, and published this version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But then no one would buy it to sing it. Um, so he uh, gave it to Bing Crosby, who refused to sing it, and a number of others. He also gave it to Gene Autry, who was a, a well-known singer at that time. Uh, and he didn't want it, but his wife liked it. So he agreed to record it. And of course, after that, it went pretty damn well. So Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer yeah. has been doing a lot of business for a lot of time. And as I said earlier today, there's a moral in here somewhere. <laughs> Gentlemen, listen to your wives. <laughs> Okay, that's number five. You don't, you don't need the words, but it's number five on your song sheet, Rudolph. Mm -hmm. 